Hey YouTubers, Rival X Factor here, and I want to share with you how I unlocked HE uh, Bow in mere minutes. Um, I'm not a big noob tube user, but you need five kills. I only had 106 coming into this round out of my 85,000 kills. Not too bad. My favorite spot when on the US side is the spam ticket booth. That's what I'm spamming right now. You can get the kills behind the walls if you do enough damage or get a clean shot. But the Russian side is much easier. Why? Because you're coming from the top side to the down side, the understairs side. You've got everything to splash off of. Side stairs is a haven. You could probably get uh, five kills within two noob tubes off the break. What's the break? When no one's got anything and you're pushing from A to C respectively into the meat grinder that is B. The larger the server, the more kills you're going to rack up. So PC players, if you like to be suppressed 24-7 or you like 24-7 screen shake, go hit that 64-man metro and literally get your five noob tube kills done within minutes. The other thing you're at the balance is doing this is uh, your ammo count. Run the grenade perks so you got more noob tubes to begin with. I think it gives you six or seven out the gate, which is helpful. And keep an eye on your local support players. Uh, hit the bag early and often because you're probably going to need it. And there are other spots that you can do this. You could go play Bazaar at B and rack them up real quickly, just off the break. Uh, the best time to rack up these massive kills is off the break or go to a hotly contested flag or go to Sane Crossing, Rush or Conquest, and just start rubble dropping on people. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of people out there that have had double, triples off RPGs and stuff like that. Just switch it up with the noob tube. And I don't know why, but I couldn't kill that guy. Maybe he was spawn invulnerable. Who knows? Maybe he just became part of the wall. Now he's breakdancing on the floor. And this is another spot. I'm in uh, store two right now, and I'm about to hit hot corner. Uh, with the noob tubation. So this is another spot because people like to camp this corner and peek. So I shouldn't have 16 there. I probably should just drop the noob tube and there it is right there. So it's another spot that you can keep your eyes on uh, no matter what side you're on. If you're the Russian guys looking into store two, man, this is a great spot to noob tube. So we'll come back to the same spot here in a couple minutes. Another little nice easy spot is Metro Door, which I'm looking at right here. People love to hide behind the dumpster. You can shoot through that. There's also a wall there, and if people are hugging the wall, you're gonna get all that splash. Maybe I hit the crossbar there, I don't know, to the door. So the, the closer they are to that wall, the better it is for you. So if you see guys hugging, you can miss by four or five feet and be high, because that splash damage is coming right back down on them. So after getting a couple more noob tube kills, I'm on to the sandwich kills. So got to run support, got to run the M27 IAR because it just deals damage accurate. It's just a monster, and I sandwiched in a little clip here coming up. And here's a nice spot. Condensed areas, hallways, stairways, stuff like that. And did I mention suicide mission? Yeah. If you don't get around the corner, you're dead. But you got to have a little patience for this, knowing you're going to die a couple times. In the process, and I'm going to show you eventually, besides stairways, one of my favorite spots to C4. And it's glitched or bugged, but it always amasses to several kills at the same time. So pay attention to this little kill streak. Look at all the savior points I'm about to rack up. That's crazy. I've never had so many savior points in one split second. Uh, and continue to kill all the people, giving me a nice little point streak here. So although this clip has nothing to do with C4, uh, or noob tubes. It was kind of a neat little streak that I had, and I'm still getting points because of resupplies. Support kits can be OP. Here's another little spot that I got a couple kills off of. I'm placing them on an angle so they can't see them. C4 is hard to see anyway, but if it's spotted, they're going to see it. And you just show some patience, and you can sit back and camp a couple kills. I apologize for everybody I killed this way. I got two or three kills like this it's a patience thing there is no skill to it but people love to turn this corner because there's always people there so when i turn this corner i look into store one which i'm at real quick and i snap quickly to that hard right wall so it's it's free kills if you got the patience and the time and you're on the u.s side this is a great spot to amass them or spread them out in lockers spread four or five sandwiches down and as you see somebody on the mini map or spotted just go ahead and blow them up it's free kills every single time so moving to store two this is the dirty spot the mother load one sandwich down, and it kills everybody hugging that glass container every single time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully this helps you track down the HE bolt very quickly. Time for me to find some bushwookies.